God, I feel like an idiot. That's such a simple puzzle. Yeah, I'm, f I'm, I'm just messing up. It doesn't matter that much, but still. My pride is on the line. That totally exists. I mean, everyone has a pride. <laughs> you can say you don't. Like, people have... People are, so, like... What should we call it? Yeah, you have more prideful people than others, obviously. And I don't care that much, but... I still- I still have an ego. Like, everyone does. Like, if you think you don't, you're lying. Like, you're lying to yourself. <laughs> well, I guess we're missing out on that secret. It's probably just, like, a one-up or something. And happy block. Yeah, is this gonna- is this enough for a one-up? Two. Nice. Okay. Don't go in these. Yeah, but it doesn't really do... I guess if you want to, like, skip the Coopers, but... You know. I do like that they have the... The bell checkpoints. Because I, I was talking in the... In the Maryland 1 playthrough how... It... Well, I, did, I don't think I brought, brought it up that much, but... The, the fact that you can't really see where a checkpoint is, kind of an Not- annoy is a bit of a strong word, it- it did... It, it would have been better if there was like a- like an actual indication. Instead of just... Oh, you died, now, now you're just suddenly here instead of the start of the level. <laughs> so, I do appreciate that they actually had a- like a bell thing. Because I know, like, Mario, Fr Mario 3 just didn't have checkpoints whatsoever because the levels were so short. Mario World has, like, the smaller version of, like, the end level tape thing. And, yeah, I know Mario, Mario 1 and Lost Levels don't have a checkpoint. I think Mario 2 does? I'm not entirely sure. I don't play Mario 2 often, so, or Mario 2 USA, I should say. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure it did have checkpoints though, but I don't remember. Okay, so now we're going back to this level where that we unlocked like a while back because secret secret exit, baby. This is cool though. We get to platform on books and whatnot, and again, just cool ideas that aren't explored much in Mario games, like <laughs> the most. Uh, the most I can think of with something like this is like Mario Party DS, I guess, because I think there's a board that's like I I was it like Chemix Library or something like that. I don't know. It's the only thing I can I can think of. And yes, like <laughs> I don't know why I'm like saying this now, but yeah, like. The first game, I'm using a Xbox controller for this, so... Yeah, I'm using the competition's, um, controller, which, yeah... It's very... <laughs> weird to say. Okay, that's, that's kind of annoying. I don't like the fact... Oh. Okay. <laughs> I don't like the fact that... When you use it, when you're wearing the bunny ears, you can't actually spin jump. That's kind of crap. That's fine. Okay. Oh, come on. He wasn't even out yet. Oh, well. Uh, okay. We're gonna have a lot of uh, coins to get, like, go into the slot machine thing. Or well, the roulette ru will, I guess. Boss time. Okay. This is cool. Oh, oh! Okay, I didn't think it would do that. That was a. Well, I guess I know he. I guess I know now. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm not really sure whether or not I'd say I prefer this or the first game. Because I feel like they both have their own strengths. I definitely, I definitely say Land 1 has the better challenge. I'd say... I'd say this game is obviously better visually and has, has like actual boss fights. And I like the idea of the hard world, um, but I would have preferred if if there was like a more straight level to level structure. Because I feel, again, I feel like that would have made the levels more like, feel the need to be more challenging. But it's fine. I like it for what it is. And I like, I th I I think the level gimmicks are more fleshed out in this game, especially since there's there's more levels, so there's more time for like that stuff to grow. So I I will say I also, I also again I also just prefer the music in Land One. Okay, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go back to the. Ruler, so we can, so we can get some lives or something. Even though we don't really need any right now, let's just screw. It. We have, we have the money to burn. Good. Yeah, I, I have no real reason to hold on to all this money. Get like twenty up. That would be great. Five up is also good. God, yeah, there's no reason for you to get a game over in this game, like... God, look at this. Do 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 do. Let me do this one more time. And another five up. Awesome. It does feel good to get, like, just a crazy amount of lives just really quickly. You know, I'll just leave it at that. Don't need any more. Okay, so... What's up here? Oh, this is just a castle. So you just see Wario up there. He's like, oh no, we need to get four more coins. Wow! That, does anything happen if I... If I, like, press the button? No? Okay. Right, so let's go down here. So that's the tur that's turtle zone. There's giant Mario, and then the okay, and then this is like pumpkin zone. Um, there's two secret exits. Uh, I'll do this later. I'll go to. Go to Turtle Zone, get <laughs> get swallowed by a giant turtle, and then we have some water levels, I guess. So, cheap cheeps. There's no secret exit in this level, at least. So don't don't need to worry about that just yet. So I guess um, th th so there is a reason to. Like, like, kill the enemies, like, you, well, obviously, but besides just being in the way, but, yeah, as you kill enough enemies, you do get a star, so that's nice. And a weird sharks with boxing gloves or whatever, because <laughs> of course. Hello? I don't think you can kill those. I think you just need to leave them alone. Yeah, I'm definitely glad I finally managed to play these two games though. Apparently, like, apparently the first game was, um, like, really, like, sold really well. Like, I didn't know... I'd have to like look at like the actual sales numbers of these games, but I had no idea that Mario Land 1 did so as well as it did. I guess it makes sense, because you know Mario and 
This is the f first handheld Nintendo console, maybe? <laughs> Unless you want to count like the Game & Watch, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, well, that was, I, I don't know, I, I, I'm talking out of my ass. Oh, there's a sub submarine level. Nice. Man. <laughs> this is so cool. I want more stuff like this, come on! Like, there are so many different world ideas you could do for a, a modern 2D Mario game, it's ridiculous. This game shows that. <laughs> yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll just, yeah. Yeah, there, well, we, we'll have to look around, because there is a secret exit here, somewhere. And it's probably... okay. I'm probably gonna have to use this. I probably would prefer if the... If this wasn't a water... Like, a, a submarine just kind of sinking, I guess. Well, not sinking, but like, just drowning in water. But it, it makes sense to, for this to be part of the water world. I just know- Yeah, I, I don't- I wouldn't say I hate Mario- un, Like, underwater Mario levels. At least 2D Mario- Underwater levels. But they have never really been my favourite. I think, I think the 3D games handle underwater levels much better. At least for the Mario series, I, I don't know, I, I, the, like, some 2D games do underwater levels really well, like, Rayman Origins and Legends, like, do the underwater stuff, like, really well, and so does Tropical Freeze. But most of the time, I don't particularly care for 2D water levels. That's just... Well, I, I know it's just not just me. I know a lot of people don't like water levels. But it is what it is. I... I do, like... I, the water, water levels that are good tend to be some of my favourite levels in the game. Again, with Orig Origins and Legends, like... Legend specifically, the water world is my favourite. Origins, not quite as much, but it's still a pretty good level. And then Tropical Freeze, that's not my favourite world either, but it's still like, definitely, I, I definitely say the world, the water level in that game is a highlight. And then, I guess I had the unpopular opinions that I tend to, I tend to like the water temples the most in Zelda games, like the water temple is one of my favourites from Ocarina. Great Bay is like almost tied to be my favourite dungeon in, major in that game. Like it's, it's between that and Stone Tower, I go between the two a lot. And then Lake Bed Temple and Twilight Princess is one of my favourite favourites in that game. So I, I, I don't know, like, 3D's older, 3D's older games tend to do really well with uh, Water Dungeons, in my opinion. I, I, I at least feel like they tend to have the more interesting dungeon design. Because then you even have, like, a, the Ancient Cistern in Skyward Sword, which is also a really good water level. So, yeah. Yeah, again, it's like, I know some of that is unpopular because, I know, well, I know people like the Ancient Sister, and mainly for the boss, which is hype, don't get me wrong, but it's not the reason I like that, uh, like that dungeon. And then you have people usually hating the Water Temple and Great Bay, which I understand, like, they're definitely one of them, one of them, like, two of the more complicated dungeons in a series, but that's also why I like them. <laughs> 
So, and also lake bed. I, I don't know what the consensus on lake bed, but well, I used to hate it. I used to hate the water temple and the great bay as well, but you know, I, I <laughs> time changes, opinions evolve. I grow up and like, you know, th you know, things change. And yeah, I I like the water water dungeons quite a bit. So I don't know where exactly I'm supposed to be going here. No, we're just kind of. I mean, we've been going pretty well, just kind of rolling, uh, just kind of winging it so far. So I guess we'll just. I, I think I saw something that looked fairly suspicious la in like our last run, so hopefully we'll manage to just find it. That would be nice. I also feel like I don't really need to get any more any more lives. We have so many coins as well, like already. Like we used up like so many of our coins earlier, and now we already have like. Actually, no. I was looking. At, <laughs> I was looking at the timer. I'm stupid. Um, but you no, know, 265 still isn't like too bad. That's still a decent amount. Okay, so I assume it's past this point. I don't know. We shall find out soon enough. I just, okay. Okay. This is what I was saying. Okay. This. Yeah, this uh, kind of looks suspicious. Oh, good. Why is it... What? Is that just another pathway? What the heck? What in the hell? I mean, this is new, so maybe? I don't know where I'm going. No, this is just... We're just going... Going in circles here. So then, what is the... Where is the secret exit? This is just the end of the stage, right? Got some money. God, that's a lot. <laughs> You get a lot from those bags. Yeah, I'm just gonna... I'm trying to look around here. Has to be... Yeah, there's definitely something I missed. There's not really anything here, though. Not that I've... Not that I can notice, anyway. <laughs> hmm. That's concerning. Oh, I really don't want, don't want, don't want to have to look that up. I'll do the boss level first. Let's just get this out of the way. Oh, this is weird. I guess well, we're in like inside a. Belly of a whale. Oh, hey. Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh, why? Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, having like 30 lives doesn't mean just squander squander all of them. <laughs> like, come on, dude. Doop. Uh. Oh, this is so weird.
Okay, let's get that so we can get... Oh my god, I keep on expecting it to not go f down, f like, so far. <laughs> and... Okay, now, I now I'm just kind of sucking at the game. <laughs> after say after <laughs> constantly saying how I thought it was t this game uh, was too easy, I, I I'm just making dumb mistakes. And this like dry bones. I I forgot, forgot what these enemies were called. Yeah, they're also having a time. Damn it. Guess we aren't getting that mushroom. Okay. Oh, nice. <laughs> I really should have expected that. I am terrible at this video game, apparently. Oh boy. I want that mushroom. This dude is not helping. Oh! Hitboxes! He like touched my hat. <laughs> not like, <laughs> barely. Damn it, dude. Why is it so hard to get this mushroom? There we go. Cool. Do, do, do. Nice. Oh! Damn it, no, I couldn't jump in time. No, why? Alright, you know what? You can go over there. And this weird stuff. Okay. Until the boss. Is this it? Yep. Okay, so I find like an octopus or something? This, I guess so. So how do I do this? Just, no. Yeah. This is weird. Don't know what was going on. That works. Good. Look, look at that face. Oh, I'm all the way back here. Damn it, dude. I guess I did... Again, I did want more difficulty, I guess. Okay, I'm not gonna make that mistake again. Even though I almost did. <laughs> yeah, I wonder, does doing this... Good. Okay, so that just kills the Coopers. Not as- it doesn't do the poof like Mario World, but it still kills them. That's good to know at least. Okay, get away from that guy. Okay, I think I know what to do now. Maybe. It would be great if I had a fire flower. That's not... Unfortunately, that's not the case. Okay, I can just... Alright, this is... Piss. <laughs> I don't know why I was having issues. I, I was overcomplicating over the crap out of that. Because I Like, my mindset was just like, Oh, great, he's in the water. And I can't, like, normally jump on enemies. But I just need to, like, go and get to the surface and then jump into the water. That's all I needed to do. Okay. But we do want to go back in there, because we did miss a secret exit. So... Where it is in this submarine, I have no frickin' idea. We're gonna have to just... Kill ourselves, and then everything will work. Because that's... How... 
that works, I guess. Can we go through the wall? Ah, uh, good. <laughs> nice. We can figure this out. I'm definitely going to take longer than those long plays, that's for sure. <laughs> I guess, I guess that's what happens. That's what happens when you don't know the game. Uh, maybe I'm. I've been a bit too harsh on the difficulty because I have been dying more than I probably should. But I don't know. I still feel that the first game was harder. I guess opinions will change as I get more used to these games and like play them more often. I don't know. I don't know what I don't know what people think about that. Like, I don't know if it's like any, like a topic that's ever been discussed before. But you know, okay, is it up here? Or is this just the? I, I don't think I've been up here actually. Have I? I don't know. Oh! I don't think I've been here. Good. I guess uh, we have to go some- wait, there has to be a way. This is stupid if I have to like, do this to actually enter the- enter this area. Wait, what? Is that necessary? I mean, I don't see any other reason- any other way I could have gone here. I guess they want to give me some more- some extra tension in this area. Yeah, we definitely- we haven't been here, so this is- n I'm 99% sure that this is where it's, it's gonna be. Oh god, okay. Oh, this bundle of fun right here. How you doing? God, I really don't want to have to deal with this guy. Come on, just go on, go. Okay, okay. Oh, hi. All right. Cool. Whew. That could have been worse. Could have been a lot worse. And then that sends me up here. Yay! Do, 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 do. I like how the secret exit get, <laughs> lets you play a land level. It's like, yeah, we know underwater stages aren't popular, so you get rewarded with a regular, like, land level. So that's cool. Oh, is this, like, just spelling out Mario? I think so. Mario. Ma. If you know what that was a reference to, you get a cookie. I was just spelling out Mario Land in general. It's gonna say Mario Land two to six golden coins. The <laughs> the entire title. Well, at least it's saying Mario Land two. Yeah, just Mario Land two. Okay. That's cool. Oh. I don't fire flower. Yeah, what? I'm pretty sure that has to be an emulator bug. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like, when I edit, I'm gonna like have to like freeze frame that or like just get like the exact, like the exact frame of that. Um, let's go to the weird Mario zone. Yeah, this is like really bizarre this. There's no secret exits here, so we can just kind of go wild. Yeah, these devs were crazy, like... I can just, just imagine they went into a, like, a board meeting one day and just like, Okay, so we need world ideas for uh, Mario Land 2. Uh, okay, so... Let's have an underwater level, and uh, 
to act to access it, you have to get eaten by a by a by a giant turtle. Okay, sure, we'll go with that. And then we'll also have a, a world that's just a giant robot Mario. I excuse me. <laughs> this is just so bizarre from like even for Mario standards, but it somehow still works. God, I love it. Oh, I thought I could jump on that. <laughs> My bad. Yeah, get it. But these games, these two games have definitely surprised me a fair bit, though. Again, I, I I have seen them before, but being like actually playing them for myself, yeah, I can see why these games are so well apparently so popular. Like I I didn't know. The, again, I didn't know the first game did as well as it did, and admittedly. I don't know how well this one did, but people seem to like these games quite a bit, and I, I can see why. Alright, please. Would I rank these higher than the any- like, well, I, I'd play these over- i play at least this- yeah, mm, mm. I don't know. I still- I like Mario 1, but I don't- to go back to that one. I definitely play this over Lost Levels and two, Mario 2 USA. But, yeah. I don't- I wouldn't play this over Mario 3 or World though. I will say that. Well, may- if, if I'm in the mood for a shorter 2D Mario game, then I might play it over tw over free and world, but only if I don't feel like playing a longer game. Which is, you know, fair enough. Sometimes you do want to have a shorter experience, and we get to play with Mario's balls, ha? Huh? <laughs> like, what the hell? And, like, no notice where, like, where we entered the stage as well. Like, they knew what they were doing. They just... These devs just wanted to have some fun. It's like... God, this game is so weird. And I love it. Uh... No, oh, screw it. Alright, go down here. How you doing, buddy? I don't know if there's anything down there, so I'll just ignore that. Oh. Okay. Oh, I, yeah, okay. I'll, I'll get... No, I, okay, I can't go back down. It's one of those multiple choice things and you can't go back. Ugh. Go! <laughs> that was almost a mistake. How, do I, how am I supposed to... Okay, I'm gonna have to kill that and wait for this to move to the side. Okay. Oh, no, 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 I actually want that. I, I, I want to power her up. Oh, okay, one, okay. Oh, wait, hold on. Is it based on where the mouse, the mice uh, end up? I think that might be the case. Yeah, because... Okay, I'm going to test this, because I'm, I'm looking at this right now. And, okay, this first one is definitely going to go up right, up right, up right, up left. Oh, they cut the wires! Okay. That's why I was getting confused. I had no- I wasn't- I didn't notice that whatsoever. Okay. Now that makes more sense. Okay. 
I'm learning things. Oh, hey, what in the heck? Who are you? Uh, oh, okay, well, I, they're based on the uh, Mario 3, like, enemy, oh. <laughs> I'm stupid. Uh, for some reason, I thought the <laughs> spikes were in the background, but obviously, obviously they're not. What am I, what am I smoking? This is different. Are these in the background? No. Okay, so the black ones actually move. Gotcha. Hi. This is unique. Good. I'm glad that happened. Okay. Oh, good. Right. Of course I need the fire flower. I do appreciate that they made it so both power-ups feel like they're equally important. It doesn't feel like one overshadows the other. It's just like, you have these fire- these blocks that you can take- like take up with the fire flower and then you, then you have like these massive gaps that only the um, only the, the bunny ears will let you cross. And then Past that, it's just, it's just, you know, take the power up that suits you the best. Which, I mean, that's no, that's standard for Mario, so it's nothing new there, but it's just, you know, it's just nice. It is kind of a shame that you don't get the bouncy ball back from Mario Land 1. But hey, I, yeah, I, I, will, I will say this, that, that is one point to Mario Land 1, it does have a unique power-up, whereas this game has just a regular fire flower, and the bunny ears are, are new, but they're kind of just another standard gliding Mario power-up, so it's nothing too special. So yeah, I'll, I'll give Mario Land 1 that, it does have a unique and interesting power-up that I kind of would have liked to, I kind of would like to see that come back in, in a game. Like, I don't know. I feel, like there's, I feel like there's a good amount of cool things you could do with that. Hey, I mean, Mario Maker 2 has it at least, so so there's that. But I would like it to be in a in a like a mainline game or something. Just just a new game, and just you know, to see what they can come up with. And now we're playing in was it like Mega? I don't. Like, there's Lego, and then there was like, Mega Lego or something that- There was a version of Lego that was just- Had like, massive versions of the bricks. That's what this is. God. Yeah, don't step on Legos, kid, kids. Unless you enjoy pain. <laughs> Yeah, this, this uh, world in particular is just a complete fever dream. It's definitely the weirdest one so far. I doubt the others are going to be anywhere near as weird as this. Because it's just like... I already forgot what the first level was, but uh, the second level we, we get to play with uh, Mario's ball pit. <laughs> and then, like with this, get, with this one we, have, we get to play with uh, Mario's um, Lego collection. And then... I don't even, I don't even remember what the, what the last level, the previous level was, but, yeah, and then we have the three little piggies. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> oh, boy. I don't know how the song goes. <laughs> Good. Good stuff. Oh, come on. 
Oh, I didn't. I didn't know what <laughs> why I was gonna jump. It's weird. Mario, three inspired enemies. Roly poly oly. Oh god. Yeah, bouncy time. Remind me of the very naughty from DKC1. Okay, what, do you, what are you gonna do? Just bouncing again, but just higher and in a weirder pattern, I guess. Still no issue though. Probably the most uh, difficult boss so far, but they're still not saying too much. Okay, two more to go. Huzzah! 